gonna do, Captain? She's gaining on us! What do we always do, Fritz? We pray and we get ready to jump to hyperspeed. Whoa! Oh, did Empress Grimy just shoot us? I'm surprised as you are, Commander Maui, but it appears Empress Slimy did shoot us, and just when I thought she could stoop no lower. We better make a hyperspeed jump and quick. Calculating a hyper jump. Are we ready? Just about, Captain. One more calculation. Okay, hyper jump is ready to launch. On your command, sir. Commence the jump. We burnt! Why did you blast them? We want to capture the USS Jazzercise, not destroy it! Sorry, your Empress. I got a little carried away. It won't happen again. Unfortunately, that is probably not true. Rebirth! Whoa, Captain, what's going on? Is the ship supposed to be shaking like this? No, Commander Maui, something is not right. If I had to guess, it's related to those large blasts that hit the stern of the Jazzercise. That is a very reasonable guess, Fritz. Luna, can you tell us how bad the damage is? Yes, Captain, it's not good. The ship took 65% damage. We only have, according to my calculations, three minutes before we completely lose power. Oh. Hey, Captain, we're approaching a planet. A planet? Providential, that couldn't have been better timing. Navigate the ship to that planet. It's gonna be a rough landing. Everybody hold on! Whoa! Whew, we made it, and no one got any boo-boos. Uh, I got a little boo-boo. Oh, you did? Are you okay? Yeah, I just got a paper cut on this book when we crash landed. It oh, stings. Paper cuts are the worst and they do sting. I'm just glad it wasn't anything more serious. Oh. Fritz, what happened? Oh, I guess we'll never know. Oh. Let's help you get cleaned up and we'll check the damage to the ship. The damage is severe, Captain. We're not going to be able to leave this planet anytime soon. The thermocentral hyperdrive is completely fried. That is terrible news. Where are we going to get a thermo hypo thingy on this planet? It doesn't seem like there's much going on. Reminds me of my uncle Billy Bob's hood nannies in the backwoods, if you know what I mean. Uh, we don't know what you mean. I'm saying it's lame. Hokey, not cool. Did you see that space tumbleweed roll by? Whoa! Ah! Hi there. Well, hello there, small person. Sorry to startle you. Oh, we weren't startled, right, everyone? Uh, we just didn't see you there. Right. Well, my name is Zuzu. That was a gnarly crash landing you had there. Yeah, well, we had no choice. Our ship was badly damaged. Yeah. The thermocentral hyperdrive is fried! Your ship is in pretty bad shape. How did you know that? Is she a mind reader? Oh, I overheard you talking. Oh. My dad fixes ships. He's the best mechanic in the district. Stop by Wally's. He can fix anything. Oh, well, thank you, young lady. But, uh, you're just a little child, and this is a very complicated issue, not to mention. We still have a plot that needs to thicken before we can find a solution. So, uh, yeah. Okay, but if you change your mind, my dad's shop is just at the edge of the town, by the old power converter factory. See you later! It looks like there is a small town that way. Maybe someone there can help us. I hope so. This problem is magnanimous. I'm not very optimistic that this dinky little planet will have what we need to fix our beloved USS Jazzer size. But it's our only hope of salvation. Um, Captain, um, uh, maybe we should split up into teams to be more productive. That is not a bad idea, Fritz. How about you and I go to the north side of town and uh, Luna and Maui, they can head to the south side of town and we'll meet back here in two hours. Yes, yes sir. sir! Ready, break. This looks promising. It's a parts store. This sounds like exactly what we need. Oh boy, it sure does! Let's head inside. Okay. 
Hey, what can I do for you? You guys don't look like you're from around here. You are correct, good sir. We crashed our ship by accident and are in need of a part to fix our ship. You need a part, huh? Well, I got parts. You name it, I got it. A thermocentral hyperdrive? Don't got it. Oh, but you just said you name it, I got it. Well, I don't got that one. Aw, oh, man, looks like we're gonna have to look someplace else, Captain. Well, well, hey, wait a minute, slick fellows. You guys got any dough? Dough? I don't have any dough. I'm not a baker, sir. Capital. Capital what? Oh, uh, Sacramento, Seattle, Washington, D.C. Uh... No, 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 no. Cold hard gash. How much you got? Oh, hey, do you have the part after all? No, but I know a guy. He has what you're looking for, but it's gonna cost you. Well, how much? Uh, 10,000 rubers. <gasps> 10,000? That's outrageous. No, I want money. Not outrageous. Well, we don't have 10,000 rubers. Well, then that's too bad. But the good news is that today is your lucky day. Oh, see, it hasn't seemed that lucky so far. Because it just happens to be that Borgo over there is looking for a challenger to Borgo Belly Buster's hot dog eating competition. Hot dog eating competition? Uh, Belly Buster? That's right. And it just so happens the prize money for beating Borgo is 10,000 rubles. Hey, that's exactly the amount we need. Yeah. How convenient. You know what they say, if something sounds too good to be true, go for it. Captain. That is not what they say. Point us in the direction of this Borgo's belly buster. We've got some money to win. Oh, I see that I have a worthy opponent. Oh, not me, goodness, no. Just think of all that sodium nitrate I couldn't possibly. Then what about Shrimpy over here? Hey, that's Mr. Shrimpy to you. Fritz would be more than happy to challenge you, sir. Wait, what? Then let the challenge begin. Just, uh... Oh. Right yes, of course. Uh, let me go. Oh, oh, Fritz, I'm just going to sign your life away. Hold on. And, uh, <laughs> good, you go. Good. We finally get to clear out of that junk food and so we can increase our inventory of frozen rat popsicles. I'm in big trouble. Okay, Luna, this is it. The 20th part store in this district. I can't believe we've been to 20 part stores and no one has the part we need. You know what they say, the 20th time is the charm. No one says that. I know, it's highly illogical, but I wish they did so I could hope it were true. Well, hopefully this one will have it. Excuse me, kind sir. Do you happen to carry a thermocentral hyperdrive? <laughs> Okay. Let me try it. Excuse me, we need a thermocentric hyperdrive. Wait, is he throwing pies? Yes, rhubarb to be exact. Whoa, man. Not cool. At least have the decency to throw a banana cream or something. Let's get back to the ship. Agreed. This dude can't even talk. Well, actually, I can talk quite well. That was a customary greeting passed down by my forefathers for a thousand years. I wonder why no one ever stays and purchases anything in this store. Well, that was a waste of time. I wonder if Captain and Fritz did any better. Well, you don't have to wonder any longer. Oh, I don't feel so good. Was it all the sodium nitrates? Because I was trying I to tell. I 230 hot dogs. I have no idea why you would do that. But did you get the part? <gasps> no. He promised. And after I won Borgo Belly Buster's hot dog eating competition, the guy raised the price again! I see that you two haven't found the part either. Nope, we're still stuck with a broken, dirty ship without hope. We can't fix it. That ought to do it. Hi, guys! Little girl from earlier! I was wondering if you would come back into our story. I told you my dad is the best mechanic in the district. He decided to fix your ship for free. Whoa, 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 what's that gonna cost him? I hope it doesn't involve more hot dogs. It's on the house, my friend. But sir, how can we ever repay you? No need. I'm just happy to help out some space cadets. I told you that my dad could fix your ship, but you didn't listen. I could have told you nothing else in this world would help, 
But you weren't being reasonable. Reasonable? There's a Bible verse for that. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. Isaiah 1, 18. Great Scott, this is like what Jesus offers us today. Like our ship, we are filthy and broken. Messed up. And full of hot dog. We had no hope of fixing our red like scarlet stain like problem. But this very kind mechanic, who is the only one on this crazy world who could, fixed it for us. We just needed to be reasonable and listen. Jesus wants us to listen to him and obey him. He can make our hearts clean. Amen to that. Well done, Space Cadets. Another mission accomplished. We learned to be reasonable and to respond to the only one who can fix our problems. Ultimately, that is Jesus Christ. He can wash our filthy, sinful lives whiter than snow. Live long and thrive, cadets. Hey, before you go, why don't I fire up the grill? You guys want some brats? They're technically not hot dogs. Of course we all would. Fritz, oh, you're up first. Oh. Oh.